Hi, this is PR Sundar. When it comes to stock market, most of the people think only about shares. And of course, traders think about futures and options. Even beyond the stock market also, when it comes to financial markets, people know mutual funds and equity market. So their knowledge is limited only to these two things, equity and mutual funds. There are few other instruments also trading in exchanges. So we are going to talk about that today. ETF, Exchange Traded Fund. According to Investopedia definition, an exchange traded fund is a type of security that involves a collection of securities such as stocks that often tracks an underlying index. An exchange traded fund is a basket of securities that trade on an exchange just like a stock. Exchange traded fund share prices fluctuate all the day as the exchange traded fund is bought and sold. This is different from mutual funds that trade only once a day after the market closes. ETFs can contain all types of investments including stocks, commodities and bonds. ETFs offer low expense ratios and few brokers commissions than buying the stocks individually. What are the advantages of ETFs? Here we are actually comparing ETF with mutual funds. First one is a low expense ratio. Typically, equity mutual funds charge 1 to 2 percent expense ratio per annum. Whereas, that expense ratio charged by the ETFs are very, very little. So, that is one big advantage. Second one, it can be bought and sold through exchange. Mutual funds, you can buy from the asset management companies and you want to sell it, you have to redeem it only through them. Whereas, exchange traded funds, once you buy either from the issuer or from the market, it can be sold any times in the stock market, just like shares. Third one, less transaction charges. In mutual funds, the transaction charges are high. Say for example, there is an exchange traded fund called Liquid Bees. So you buy that one, there is no security transaction tax, there is no stamp duty, the exchange transaction charges are also zero and many brokers don't even charge the brokerage because they want to encourage investment in liquid bees ETF. Whereas mutual funds when you invest, when they buy shares from the market, they pay high STT, stamp duty, brokerage, service tax, everything. Number four, intraday profits can be booked. If you are holding a mutual fund, at the end of the day, they will be declaring the net asset value. At that price only, you can buy or sell. So intraday price fluctuations, you cannot capture. Whereas ETFs are traded in stock market, just like any other share. You can sell anytime, you can buy anytime, even you can do intraday. Last but not least, for traders, haircut will be less as ETF is considered as a low risk. I'm just comparing one ETF with mutual fund. There is an ETF called Nifty Bees. You all know Nifty Future. You all know State Bank Future. State Bank Future means you are buying the shares in futures market. And you all know State Bank. State Bank means you are buying it in the cash market. So the same way, Nifty Future is traded in futures market. But can you buy the Nifty? No because nifty is just a number it's the average of top 50 stocks in india that's only a number you cannot buy nifty but there is an exchange traded product fund exchange traded fund which is called nifty bees so if you buy that whatever the return generated by nifty so that etf will be generating the same return for you so it is as good as buying the nifty if you buy a mutual fund and normally there will be a haircut of 10 to 20 percent if you want to give mutual fund as a collateral for trading in futures and options whereas if you give nifty bees as a collateral then the haircut is only five percent 
so there are big group of people we always invest in this kind of products but after investing we want to give it as a collateral to the exchange and we want to do trading in futures and options to make some money so for me exchange traded fund is better than the mutual fund that's because i have only 5% haircut for etf whereas 10 to 20% haircut for mutual fund what are the exchange traded funds traded in nsc i am going to show you i am going to nsc india website i am comfortable with the older version here you go to live market you can see exchange traded fund you click here you will get the list of all exchange traded funds here say for example this one is hdfc one underlying is gold and this one one etf the underlying is nifty next 50 and this is one underlying is nifty 50 so there are so many underlings so some it can be gold it can be nifty 50 it can be sensex it can be government securities so there are so many exchange traded funds are there right there is a total of 57 plus 17 around 74 exchange traded funds are there right though there are 74 exchange traded funds the most popular are two exchange traded funds one is nifty bees the other one is liquid bees so what is the a difference what are the advantages and disadvantages that we will be discussing in our next video now many people also ask me one question they send me a lot of messages to me sir how about gold bond scheme can i give gold bond as collateral to the exchange for trading so the answer is yes you can give next time onwards instead of asking me i will show you where you can see whether you can give any particular security or bond whether you can give as a collateral or not if you go to products derivatives equity derivatives and look at the current market report and click view daily report here you can see haircut for approved securities so you click this one excel file will be downloaded so open it so these are the securities that you can give as a collateral now going back to here we shall look at any one exchange traded fund go to live market sovereign gold bond okay maybe this one so this is a gold bond this this is the symbol what i do i control c that means i'm copying then i'm opening the excel file and here i control f to see and then control v i type the symbol and you can see it is there so this is the gold bond and uh, this is the isi number the current value is 4613 this is the haircut so there's a 10% haircut so therefore one thing i would like to tell you gold bonds can be given as a collateral for trading because nowadays the gold prices are going up and second thing if you want to know any script that you have whether it is allowed for collateral you can go and check here so hope this video is useful for you and thank you for watching